Aquarians, welcome to the channel. I'm Miss Ag Moon Diva, and I am so excited to do you guys reading because I'm getting a lot of energy. Actually, I've been picking up a lot of energy from the sign of Aquarius. It could be because I'm one as well, but I'm telling you, I feel like a lot of you are going through a stage right now where you're kind of putting more of your focus into your work as opposed to in love because for some of you, you're starting to kind of feel jaded as if your ship is not going to come in, feeling very disappointed in the people that you've met and uh, your outlook on love right now is not so good. But the song that came on as I was meditating over you all sign, wanted to get the most accurate messages uh, that can come through for you guys. And what came through, what I wrote down is Ed Sharon's song called Perfect. When this song started playing, the thing that stood out the most was I will not give up this time. I feel like someone is in the Six of Cups right now. Someone is feeling very nostalgic about you. This person loves you just the way you are. This person thinks that you're perfect. This person wants to build something with you and this person wants to share a home with you. I feel like this person is starting to see you with new eyes. Maybe in the past they may not have seen a relationship with you. Maybe this was someone that had an in and out energy. Someone that I feel didn't cherish you. This is something that's a, that is a common thing with us Aquarians is that we always have people to return. And what is so funny is that I'm starting to feel this around the time when it's almost time for the next retrograde. You're going to start to notice that there are going to be people that are going to come in your energy that want to communicate with you. And you're also going to know that there's going to be someone in your energy that has realized what it is that they've lost. And again, this person is seeing you with new eyes. This person is not going to give up. This person is going to reach out because this person believes in their heart that you are their twin flame. They believe that you are their soulmate. So I'm going to go ahead and get into my intuitive messages and see what comes through. Please give me the most accurate information that is needed for the sign of Aquarius, please. What are the most important messages that need to come through for the sign of Aquarius? I'm going to go ahead and get the ones that fell out. <laughs> Every word is true. Okay, so I guess everything that I just said at this moment is very true. There is someone out there that is thinking about you heavy. There is someone that is emotionally tied to you, someone that may have been fearful of the fact that they feel like you're perfect, but they are afraid to open up because they're not sure as if now would be a good time because they don't know if you're going to feel the same. This is someone you've given the silent treatment to. Some of you may have started like laughing or gasp at this moment because you know that the person that you're thinking about the most at this time, you either have them blocked or you're giving them the silent treatment. This person is saying, I can treat you better. Some of you may have started dating, maybe getting out there and dating or this person thinks that you're out there dating and they want to come in. They want to rush in and let you know that they can treat you better than anybody that they see is their competition. This is something that you've been working on a lot is your self-esteem. You've been taking care of yourself, doing a lot of self-care. Some of you have been going towards religion. Some of you have been trusting in your intuition. And some of you may have even picked up chakra stones. I feel like some of you have the amethyst stone and you keep that with you. It's all about inspiration. It's all about intuition. And you're trusting in that and you're building your self-confidence. But I think that your person, I think this is the reason why why they held back from you, why they haven't opened up to you, is because of self-esteem issues. They're afraid of being rejected. Some of you could be dealing with a Capricorn. Some of you could be dealing with an Aquarius. Or something significant happened in January, or will happen in January. <laughs> I told you guys. You all are dealing with your twin flame. This person is finally waking up to this connection, understanding that this is a soulful connection and that the two of you are intertwined and that no matter who they try to go out and see 
or how far they try to run, they cannot get away from this. You two are destined to be together and they know this now. It took them some time. They miss your smile. They definitely miss your smile. <laughs> this person is very curious about what you've been up to. And I think that you've been curious about what this person has been up to as well. But I feel like for a lot of Aquarians at this time, you're slowly kind of feeling yourself pulling away from that constant need to check up on this person, the constant need to maybe talk about this person or the constant need to maybe watch a whole bunch of um, different type of tarot videos. You're being a lot more selective now. Just waiting for the energy to pull you in because you are starting to trust in what? Once again, your intuition. Because you know that it's going to guide you where you need to go. This person loves you. This person loves the hell out of you, okay? It says, I have never felt love this intense. It scares them. This type of love scares them. They haven't experienced anything like this before. This is why this person leaves and comes back because they can't stay away for too long. Their heart belongs to you. You are their twin flame. <laughs> oh yeah, just like a true Aquarian. You put it on them, okay? And now they are whipped, okay? Look, can't even go anywhere else. They just messed up in the head right now. Probably think you put some type of spell on them. <laughs> Some of you are tarot readers and they are seriously thinking that you have some type of spell that you've put on them because they're like, okay, it has to be something. I'm never this close to anybody. No, you didn't do anything. You were just being a true Aquarian. Some of you are dealing with a Taurus. <laughs> some of you are definitely dealing with a Taurus or you could be dealing with, I think, what is that? May. Um, and some of you could be dealing with a Gemini. Yeah, I think that's that Gemini and Taurus. And you could have a Libra moon or your person that you uh, are in contact with or could soon be in contact with has a Libra moon. <laughs> yeah, that was a lot of confirmation there. I mean, come on. It's your twin flame. I'm telling you guys, it may have seemed like every time you connected with this person, something always happened. Something There was always something blocking the connection, and it was so frustrating because you're like, you're everything I want. Why can't you just get in? And it seemed that this person fought you at every avenue. They would not allow for you to be able to get close to them. I don't think they've ever been able to let anybody get close to them because they have fears. Fears of being hurt, childhood issues, mommy issues, daddy issues that they just could not, they could not get past. They were like, I'm not going to allow you to get close to me. There's somebody in this person's energy that is keeping them away from you. Could be a um, lover, could be a friend, but somebody around them is a snake. Somebody is around them giving them bad advice and keeping them from you. Yeah, somebody is definitely uh, doing this. I suggest that some of you all, when this person comes back, you all create clear boundaries. All right, create clear boundaries. Do not let allow this person to come back into your energy if they were someone that came in as a player. If they're still showing the signs of player energy, then you cannot let them get close to you. You cannot allow this person to have sex with you when you know that this person has the ability to keep you stuck in that way because it for some of them they are so afraid of love that they want to keep you where they're comfortable so don't allow them to keep you as an option this person is going to have to give you clear and concise answers clear and concise relationship stability in order for you to move forward and be passionate with this person you have to set up those boundaries yeah, this person is going through a transformation. Got the Phoenix card here. Yes, some of you could be dealing with a Scorpio or somebody that has Scorpio very um, heavy in their chart. But this is someone that is going through a dark night of the soul. This is somebody that, like I said before, is awakening. They're waking up to what is going on. Some of you are feeling single. You're feeling happy. You're living a hot girl, hot boy life right now. You are having so much fun with your friends, or if so, you will be in this energy soon. And the thing is, is that I feel that for some of you, 
you're getting your confidence back. You're feeling better. You're looking better. And you're starting to like change the way you dress. Some of you are definitely shape shifting. And I feel that this person lurks and this person sees these changes in you, whether this is the way you look or the type of business or something that you have that is succeeding. And this person sees that. This is someone that is learning to open up their heart and let love in. And this is a time for some of you where you're definitely going to meet the one. There's going to be an opportunity for the two of you at some point to get together. Because the both of you are starting to become more open to the possibilities of love. There is a lot of chemistry between the two of you all. This chemistry is very insane. This is something that um, the two of you cannot pull away from. It is something where it is very passionate, but at the same time, it is also fun. Yes, definitely be careful. Uh, this person has some bad energy around them, I'm telling you. This is the reason why this person has been holding back. Any type of thoughts that you had in your head that you feel like there's somebody in your person's ear keeping them from you is the absolute truth. Somebody wanted to keep them in this energy of being a low life, basically. They wanted to keep them in this energy. It could be that somebody around them had a breakup and they were very miserable in their breakup and they feel that all relationships are bad, all women are bad, or all men are bad. So when this person has seen or sensed that your person has these strong feelings for you, they wanted to find a way to cut that situation out. See, you got that grim reaper. Somebody around this person is a grim reaper telling them that the relationship is over. There's no second chances that it's not going to work out. They literally have stopped this person, made this person rethink everything, put this fear inside of them that you're seeing someone else. You're not interested in them. You'll never be interested in them. Really playing on their self-esteem. Yeah, look at this. Once again, you got a snake card here. There's competition out there. For some of you, it could be the opposite sex. That is somebody that they consider a friend and they don't think that this person would give them any advice other than good advice. But this person is a snake and they're telling them this stuff because they either want the misery, like misery loves company, or they want your person. Somebody wants your person or somebody is wanting to keep them in this energy because they are miserable and they have bad luck in relationships. And even with all of this bad advice, this person can't help but look back. This person is replaying everything that is going on. This is, once again, see that nostalgia there? There's nostalgia. This person is looking back, constantly thinking about you in this six of cups energy, looking at your photos, reminiscing, wondering, shoulda, coulda, woulda. This is all they're doing, shoulda, coulda, woulda. But because of the horrible advice that this person is taking in, because of this person's self-esteem, this person showed you a mask, okay? This person was hiding behind a mask. This is somebody that was denying their love for you out of fear of heartbreak, taking the wrong advice from people. And it left them alone. I'm telling you, yeah, this person is definitely has held back from you in the past because I'm starting to, <clears throat> my airways keep closing. I feel like there's going to be a lot of sores in this reading. And I also feel that your person could be in the air sign as well, or they could have air very heavy in their chart, but there's definitely going to be a lot of sores. I'm, I'm telling you, there's going to be a lot of sores that are going to come out in the reading because my throat is getting drier and drier. So this person is still holding back. But here's the thing. This is what this person wants with you. They want to be married. They want a union. They want foundation. They want to give you a ring. This person wants to offer you commitment. Again, this person wants to offer you commitment. You got wedding rings, got engagement. This person wants to marry you. But this person is afraid because of all the doubt around them and inside of them. thing is, is will this person ever say anything about it? Will they ever open up? Let's see. Sexually, if this person is, is looking at your pictures all the time and the chemistry is insane, this person is definitely thinking about intimacy, intimacy with you. So I want to go ahead and see. Yeah, 
They're thinking. This person wants a long-lasting relationship with you. This is the first time I've ever pulled this card out of a card deck. Okay, so this is 100% confirmation that this person doesn't just want sex. This person wants something not just short-term, not what they were giving you in the past. This person wants something long-lasting. And I do feel that for a lot of you, this person is going to come back during the next retrograde. And this person is going to lay down their burdens. They're going to open up. They're going to take off all of that armor. They're going to break down those brick walls. And they're going to tell you straight up, I can't sleep. I can't think. I can't eat. It's something about you. I can't let go. I can't figure it out. And since I can't figure it out, then I have to just come towards you because it's driving me crazy. This is driving this person crazy. This person, I'm telling you, there is in some, they're in some type of swords energy. Look at that. Gentle loving. This person loves the gentle loving that the two of you all share. This person wants long lasting. In the past, with this person, this is someone that has the energy of, of one night stands. This is the person that has the energy of in and out relationships, not really committing to anything, only just wanting to have that, that quick moment with somebody, you know, and then leave and not have to worry about this person. But for some reason, they can't get you out of their head and it's driving them insane. And they need those questions answered. Some could also, <laughs> yes, I was speaking once again to the fact that you all put it on them. I believe that for some of these people, they've even done something they thought they would never do. And I think that some of them have gone to tarot readers for answers. And I believe they got that confirmation from those tarot readers as well. Is that yes, this is your twin flame. This is your soulmate. You are afraid to commit. You do need to open up and be honest with this person and stop trying to hide it. And it freaked them out. I'm telling you, it freaked them completely out. They're like, wait one minute. Why is everybody saying the same thing? What is going on? Why is everybody saying the same thing? Once again, <laughs> wearing a false mask, deception, hiding how they truly feel. Wow. I didn't even see this card here. That's the crazy part. See what I mean? This person is hiding what they truly feel, but secretly this person knows. And so for some of them through tarot, they got confirmation. All right. Through tarot could be through spirituality in some type of way. They found out, they know that this is a past life relationship. They know that this union was destined. They know that you two have known each other before in past lives. They know that when they go to sleep at night, they dream about you. When they wake up, all they can think about is you. When they're with someone else and they're being intimate, they wish that it was you. They know this. That mask is coming off. That mask wants to come off. Definitely wearing a false mask. It's just constant confirmation here. And you all know it. I feel like for some of you all, this intuition is so strong. You know who this person is. You know that this person is running away from their feelings. And they need to come through. Please give me the most accurate messages, please, for the sign of Aquarius. What needs to come through from this lover oracle? What does the person need to say most? What does the person need to say? What type of confirmation does the Aquarius need? What did I tell you? Twin flames. Your passion igniting, I'm telling you, confirmation, okay? For those cross watchers, I can't even get it out. God, this person does not open up. I can't even get it out. Jumping over my words. You guys can watch my videos. I rarely ever, ever get this caught up trying to speak, okay? This person is so fearful of rejection, but they cannot deny this connection. This has come out in about, what, three or four decks so far? Twin Flames? This is your person. Yes, Aquarius. Stop overthinking this. Just because that situation ended a certain way, it does not mean that this person is not your twin flame. You know they are. You don't have to watch 50 million videos, okay, to get that confirmation. You got it here. This came out three or four times. Your person is just scared. They're just scared. Look at that. Passion. A magnetic passion here between the two of you is a seductive quality that surrounds you at this present time you think about this person constantly they think about you constantly always thinking about this when is the next time we can be near each other it's soulful 
It cannot be tamed. It's never going to be tamed. It's never going to be quenched. It's never going to be satisfied until the two of you are in each other's arms again. You needed this truth. Here it is. You needed it. I've never seen twin flame that many times in a reading. Please give me the most important and accurate confirming messages. See, look at the way they pop out. Some of you are dealing with a Sagittarius. Some of you, like I said before, it's going to be a lot of swords. See, yeah, some of you are definitely dealing with a Sagittarius. Could be dealing with an air sign. <laughs> Yeah, and the uh, possibility that it could be an earth sign as well, because you have this three of coins here. Yeah. This person is in a four of swords energy. They're feeling a sense of abandonment. I feel like this time when you left, you kind of put a nail in the coffin, kind of signifying that like, no, I'm not going to be the one to come back. If you want me, you know where to find me. And so this person feels as if they've been abandoned, but this person is worrying themselves, okay? Not just worrying with their four of swords, but they're also putting so much pressure on themselves. I feel like this person is working a lot. They're trying to build something. They're working a lot in some way, shape, or form. Could be to try to uh, use this as a distraction from you, but this person feels so overburdened by feelings of you that... They don't know where the end is in this situation. The only thing that they know at this time is that I got to stop fighting this feeling. I have to stop fighting this feeling because this is, is working against me. Because now they're at a point where it's taking over them. Three of coins here is all about power. These feelings are taking over them. Yeah, they're fighting. <laughs> Wow. See, that's what I'm trying to tell you guys. Mm, mm, mm. <sighs> this is frustrating, okay? But it's also confirmation with the seven of swords here in the reverse. This person was taking advice that was bad. There are people around them that continue to give them bad advice. And every time that they wake up to the possibility of you being their twin flame, they get that bad. They go to the wrong people again, getting the bad advice, and then they end up going in the other direction. Yeah, causing distraction. You get the three of swords there in the reverse. All the while experiencing heartbreak because they went away and they left the one person that cares about them the most. They left their twin flame. And then here's the thing. They're lonely. Didn't I tell you there was going to be a lot of swords here? This person is lonely, trying to satisfy um, themselves with other people with different vices for some of them, or they're trying to work or whatever they can to keep a distraction because they keep taking the wrong advice, making mistake after mistake after mistake, running into people that are incompatible, okay? That three of swords there in the reverse is, is incompatible people that they're trying to make it work with. You can't make it work with anyone other than the person that you're destined to be with. And they, um, they are starting to wake up to this. It's hitting them in the head over and over again. But they got a lot of obstacles that are in their way. There are a lot of obstacles in their way that are trying to prevent them from coming towards you. So I'm going to pull five more cards just to see whether or not this person is actually going to do some movement towards you. Because right now, I feel like this person is still stuck in their head. They're stuck in their head, talking to the wrong people, taking the wrong advice, and trying to work as a distraction. Look at this card pop right out. Yeah. Lazy and disillusionment. Still trying to focus on work. They can't even focus on it. When this card is in an upright position here, this eight of coins is all about building. Okay. Building something, building towards something. Right now they're stuck at work. Some of them can't even function at work. You keep thinking about you. Keep thinking about the situation. It's crazy. It's really crazy. I don't, I don't get that need to fight something that's good, you know, pop right out. <laughs> this person wants a new beginning. This could be hope that this person could be coming towards you and no longer living in their head. Also, you came out in this reading as well, Aquarius, with that food card. This person cannot help it. They're doing a lot of thinking about you. Definitely a lot of thinking about you. Well, look at there. 
Yeah, this person's coming back. But they're working through something right now. They are definitely transformation. There's a, definitely a transformation that is taking place, like it was confirmed in the earlier part of the reading. But they're ending a friendship. I'm telling you, somebody realized they got some fake friends around them. Some fake friends that were giving them bad advice. They could have also had issues with codependency. Maybe they were in an unhappy relationship. Some of them could possibly have been married and they're coming out of a divorce. But this person is definitely realizing that the people around them are not serving them and they have to get away from it. Because what, what they are doing is they want to come towards you with these ten of coins. I told you, this person wants to build with you. This person wants a foundation with you. And this person knows that they have to get out of this death energy in order for them to come forward. But this person wanting this ten of coins... This person is going to prosper financially. This person wants security. This person may possibly want a family with you if they already, if they don't already have a family with you. And this is going to cause for some of them, it's going to be some drama that's going to take place because of this. Because here's the thing. This person is still in their head. So as they're leaving a bad situation, their self-esteem is still playing a huge role. So right now, this person is working on themselves. They're building their confidence to come towards you because eventually they're going to have to come up out of this sword energy in order to come towards you. So don't allow this person to come back to you until they have battled all of their demons. If they haven't battled all of their demons, keep doing what you're doing. Keep working on yourself. But the final card is the word card. I said the word, <laughs> the word. <laughs> Your final card is a world card. This is all about honor and recognition and triumph, okay? Just reward. Some of you, this is also in the realm of work. I feel like a lot of you, you've been working on something. You're wondering if it's going to come to fruition. You started to see that it's coming to fruition. Please disregard my, <laughs> my son in the background just woke up. He's so excited. But yeah, I guess that's another confirmation. Very excited, okay, about the changes that are taking place. And yeah, let's see. I want to, let's see what I want to close it off with. All right, I'm going to go to this Moonology deck here and let's see what is in store. Oh, look at that. Luck is on your side right here in the middle. Okay, some of you, of course, could be dealing with the fire side, like I mentioned. The person could be a Sagittarius or you could have a moon or they could have a moon in Sagittarius. And it says, bring love into this situation. If you've been feeling jaded by this, this is definitely a confirmation that you should start kind of being a little bit more optimistic about your love life and not looking at it as a negative. <laughs> the cards are saying, show the world the real you. This is the thing. This person was hiding who they truly are. It's time for them to come into the energy and show the world the real them. Some of them could have a moon in Aquarius that you're dealing with. And then you have the new moon in Virgo. It says a time to give rather than to take. This person may have always constantly taken from you, taking your time, taking your energy, taking your money, taking your heart, whatever the case may be. But it's time this person now realizes this person now sees you with new eyes. This person knows that you're perfect and they know that they're going to have to start giving back. It's time for them to put in the work. This card, my goodness, what do you need to release? This person knows they need to release the fake people that are around them, that are not serving them. This is how they can get back to you. If you guys enjoyed this reading, please give me a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel if you haven't, and turn those notification bells on so you'll be reminded each and every time I upload. Also, guys, I am now doing personal readings, and they have been going so, so well. Oh, my goodness. When I tell you the outpouring of support is just... It's out of this world, guys. I'm telling you. Thank you all again for those of you that donate to the channel. I really appreciate it. Uh, actually, with the help that you all have given, I have been able to get three more decks. So I'm waiting. They're supposed to arrive today. So, of course, I'm going to constantly do readings for all of my signs. But, of course, I'm going to always show that love to my Aquarians because you guys know we see each other. Okay? <laughs> so, yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching. And I will see you all in my next one. Bye.